Welcome back. I'm going to try and uh, make part of the uh, rollover spit for the pickup. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reutilize some of the stuff that I had from the Mark 1 that I made. Seemed to last all right, didn't it? Okay, a little bit wobbly, but it never fell off. Um, but what I don't want to do is try and run a pole through the middle now because one, I've got the bulkhead off, and two, I don't have that hole as well at the moment. Um, through the rear bulkhead um, because I've used the um, M machine replacement panel. Um, so basically what I need to do is um, try and triangulate the poles at the front and the back just so there's just like a little pole at the front, a little pole at the back. Um, uh, the downside of doing that is that you've, yeah, you've got to triangulate it. When you've got one big pole going through all the car, you basically just hang the car on that pole and it's not a problem. Um, as soon as you've got, well, let me show you. Here we go. Look, this is the back of the car, tailgate off. I'll cut the supports out now so we're like a proper pickup. Um, so, yeah, this is the old brace bar that I put in the old car. Lots of tight mounts. This is where the pole went all the way through the car before and you just hung on it. it seemed to work alright. One thing I'm going to do is clamp on that there, maybe even welding it, and then this bar will come out. So, what you've got to do is if you just then put that on a, a support like I had before. that or, you know you've got no strength there it will just snap you know if you had a long pole through the middle all the way to the front it's you know you've got the strength of the pole so we need to triangulate this bit here to make it solid back onto the car I'm thinking I'm gonna go off the hinges I think yeah I can't see why I can't see why I can't they've got to be fairly strong and um, otherwise you've got to go underneath and onto the old subframe mounts but I'm thinking this way we don't affect the subframe mounts. I don't know if my genius plan will work. Um, so I'm thinking, bar across here, bolt through these holes, then clamps onto here or welds onto here. Jobs are good and, you know, what could go wrong? That's what I'm thinking. Hmm, what do you guys think? I'll be a bit too late. Well, it won't be too late because and then what I'm going to do is chop this bar off and we're going to actually triangulate it and try and weld it to the actual wheelie frame, um, the actual sort of roller trolley that we've made. Um, so we can actually still move the whole thing around, but also still rotate it, ready for um, spraying underneath. So yeah, I'm thinking something like that. Goes onto there. See how that could go wrong. Well, that could go wrong in lots of ways, couldn't it? Oh, that hinge is like vertical, that one's bent and buggy. Oh, I wonder if these hinges are. Just realising that now, I wonder if these hinges are handed. Maybe I've got one on the right hand anyway. 147755. Yeah, I've got a different part number on them. Oh, we should check that as well, shouldn't we? Google again, looks like the hinges are the same part number either side, so, well, by mini spares. So, yeah, they are right, it's just, they did say they're not brilliant hinges anyway. When ordering them. Oh, oh yes! Ah, let's see. Okay, maybe slightly longer bolts through there, because that's going to be the only thing holding the whole back of the car up. Um, but yeah, so that technically goes forward and backwards, but that's not an issue, because that in there will be welded clamped. So it's not going anywhere forward and backwards. So that's that little packer there just to bring it up a little bit. And yeah, world clamp, one of those two, I don't care. We'll work something out. Uh, yeah. Should work, shouldn't it? And then bang, that lifts up. Remember, is that that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, what we're going to have to do, we've got the jig underneath, but we're going to have to cut that all off underneath where it's actually sitting, you know, sitting on the stuff at the moment. Um, but that's not an issue as well. One time only jig. What could go wrong with this plan, everyone? Absolutely nothing. Um, 
Yeah. That'll work, won't it? That'll be the back done. Because, yeah, you know, those hinge points got to be fairly strong. Okay, we're not going to start loading the car with elephants. Yeah. Yeah, it could go up a little bit higher needed, but that'd be fine. Don't have to be. In my world, don't have to be critical. Just makes it. You know, you can get the real posh ones that have got adjustments on them. So once you bolt subframes on them and, and, and things like that, you can adjust the centre of gravity or the pin, the pivot point to be the centre of gravity, so they're easy to spin. But not everyone's in the ideal world like that, are they? So uh, we make do. So. Yeah, it might spin round halfway round easily and then you have to give it a bit of effort. But yeah. So, got a U-bolt for there. I might try and find some more U-bolts or we could just bend it. Bend some metal around. I think that's all right. If we all welded that together and left that boltable, that bar could be then used again for another car. You know, it's not a problem. It'd be like a kit. Hmm. Oh, yes. Thumbs up for the danger value. Obviously what we are relying on these hinges being strong enough to hold the weight of a car. They're obviously designed to hold the weight of a boot. Uh, a tailgate with a big person sat on them. Uh, yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, I had second thoughts for a moment. I thought, cool, this is a stupid idea. Um, but then I came around and thought, nah, nah, it's still good. So what you've got to think when you're doing these bodges is whatever the weakest link is. Ah, I just found that, that's a good quality bit of metal, isn't it? So, weakest link, hinge points maybe. Okay, now I've got one bolt through here, and all the way through. So that's actually the leakiest point. So what we do, I think, is we'll weld another bit of metal to this tube, and it will go on to the second bolt point as well. So we've got two bolt points at that point, so that's good. That's good thinking, Matthew, that, that's good thinking. So make sure I do that before I start hanging the car on things. But yeah, yeah, see? Yeah! Sometimes, just sometimes, I impress myself with my engineering skills. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't impress anyone else, uh, but I definitely impress myself sometimes. So look at that. Ooh, yeah. Top Gear style. Yeah. So yeah, before we put full weight on, let's put some extra tabs on here to get up, pick up on the second bolt because I think my welds look dodgy and this angle iron that I found and what, what metal I found could be a lot worse, but yeah, a couple of burns to the feet, but all good. Yeah. That should, uh, should work. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. Hmm, yeah. Mm, yeah. There you go, stuck a little bit of hammer on that to make it look factory. Looks like it's a, a kit that you've bought off the internet. So, yeah, oh, hang on, missed a little bit there. I'm just... There you go. So, yeah. I can see many reasons why it won't work, and a few why it will. Um, I'm sticking with a few why it will. Why it will? Yeah. Yeah, what could go wrong? Okay, that's it on this part of how to build a Volvs. How or how not to. We've got this, uh... Mm. uh this is the front one. Um, big coach bolts again that go through um, the tower bolts, holes. Um, I did have some big square washers. Need to dig them out. Uh, and then yeah, same principle, look at that welding. And yeah, so we do this thing at the front. So, yeah, as I said, look, I can start to lift the back up. Obviously I haven't got a clue whether I've got the centre of gravity right, or the thing, but maybe I should have Googled a picture of it first. But, worst case, we just have to adjust it, won't we? Okay, I've just thought of a problem. See, one thinking properly. I expect you lot were screaming it. 
what you've got to realise is obviously when you rotate the vehicle, in this position, okay, the weight is taken on the hinges vertically, it's just pulling them up, fine, all good, strong. What's going to happen is when we turn the car 90 degrees, the weight is going to be pulling down, it's going to be trying to pull it this way, and put a completely different type of uh, load on those hinges. Um, which they're really not designed for, I wouldn't have thought, they're not designed for this anyway, but so uh, we're going to have to rethink this um, because we want to spread this load um, into something else, not pulling it that way. So what we could do uh, is get rid of these hinges and actually just make something that much stronger, tougher goes in there, welded plate, we're not wiring on the hinge. Um, we could also spread the load up the seam if you wanted to as well, that might be an idea. Um, which we could then fix onto the bumper holes as well. Yeah, all right. Well, it's good to think these things through, isn't it? So obviously, if anyone's copying me, don't. Um, wait till it's finished. Uh, yeah. Oh well, that's wasted an hour, so isn't it? Uh, roast dinner for tea. Uh, chicken, roast chicken, and stuff inside it. All right. Hey, till next time.